Hey you guys, welcome back to Star Stable and to my imagination. We are gonna be doing a role play today. I am racing on over to check out one of the newest Appaloosas and we are heading over to South Hoof. I got a text message from Hugh and he said that he has a mare there who gave birth and he said I would be an excellent fit for this new foal to come on in, train the foal and basically adopt it. So I would absolutely love to do that. And who doesn't love an adorable little foal? Oh, I keep running into rocks, okay. <laughs> As you can see, if you watched my last Appaloosa video, Swift Spot still needs some training, so I'm still kind of working with him. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to take him along for the ride. Why not take him to South Hoof, see these other Appaloosa horses? Oh, and one of my fans asked too, on my Appaloosa video, what is the location for the horses? If you want to find the new Appaloosas, they're over at Steve's farm, and then there's one right here in Fort Pinta. All right, yeah, come on, let's go. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make the boat. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Swift Spot. Be swift. Go, 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 go. No! Can I jump? Can I jump? Can I still make it? No! All right, let me send Hugh a text and let him know that I, I missed the boat. We'll have to take the next ferry. Oh, no need to come on over to South Hoof. Go talk with Josh. The mayor ended up having twins and the new buyer is there to pick up the little filly. So head on over to Starshine Ranch. Let me know how it goes. Hugh. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna actually head over to Starshine Ranch then, since he said that he sent over the mare over there because someone's gonna be buying one of the fillies. She had twins, that's exciting. Okay, good, saves me a boat ride. Besides, I have a feeling Swift Spot might get a little seasick. Well, okay, so how exciting is this? A mare gave birth to twins? Two cute little foals? Oh, maybe I'll be able to train both of them. All right, Starshine Ranch, let's go talk with Josh. There he is, hey Josh. Hey, I just got a text from Hugh. Who? Hugh. Oh, yeah. There was a horse that he said is here that gave birth to twins. Oh, yeah, you must be talking about Danger Beauty. Yeah, we have her in the barn right now. We thought she gave birth to two little fillies, but it turns out one's a colt. Now, I already have a buyer for the filly, but you're welcome to adopt the colts if you would like. I would love that. So can I head on over to the barn? Absolutely. Please do some training on him, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, great. So the mare's name is Danger Beauty. She sounds dangerously beautiful. So let's go on over to the barn and... Uh, uh, see these cute little twin foals. All right, here we are in the stall and oh, there she is. Okay, so here is Danger Beauty. So here is the mare. This is the brand new Appaloosa exclusive to the Star Stable app. And yes, she's absolutely beautiful. Look at that coloring on her. I'm in love with the Appaloosas. So of course, Danger Beauty suits her perfectly because she's beautiful. And now her babies. Oh, she did give birth to twins. Okay, as Josh and Hugh both said, the Philly already has an owner and I'm allowed to adopt the colt. So who is who? Okay, so this one is Sea Shelter. So this is the Philly. And then this one must be mine that I'm gonna be training little Ashlyn. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love them. I love them. Okay, let's let them out and get a little bit of some fresh air. Here she is with her baby. They're so perfect. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. I should have asked Hugh, like, what is their story? Like, does Danger Beauty belong to somebody? Does someone own her? Is she a wild horse? Because he didn't actually say that I'm allowed to train her. He just said, I'm allowed to train the colt. That's it. I'm just allowed to train one of them. And they're adopting out the other foal. Wait, where did the other foal? Where did his sister go? Where is she? She's lost in the paddock somewhere. Oh, there she is. Oh, they're so cute. I could just watch them in the pasture all day long. Mom does look a little protective over her baby as expected. I mean, you know, she should be. I'm gonna ask Josh really quick if I can give her some grain, keep her a little bit distracted. Hey, Josh, is that cool if I feed Danger Beauty just a little bit of some grain just so I can work on Ashlyn? Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. Let's go back to the barn. Oh, she's got a little dog keeping her company. Perfect. Let's give her some grain. Let's give her some alfalfa. There we go. Fill that up and just let her eat. Okay, there we go. We'll keep her distracted. Okay, good. Now, while she's eating, let's play with these foals. Okay, so little Ashlyn, I have absolutely going to adopt him. What an absolute cutie. Okay, so let's brush this baby soft coat. Oh, he's really dusty. Whew. All right, Ashlyn. There you go. So dusty. Get you nice and clean. Maybe give him some water before we start working him. Let him drink there. There you go. Nice, cool, crisp, fresh water. Let's pick his feet. Oh yeah, lots of rocks, pebbles, and stuff from the pasture. Pick those out of there. Okay, so let's train with the halter. So let's, let's just try this. Let's see if he can give to some pressure and release here. There we go. Move your head this way. Very good and this way, and this way. One more time. Nice, okay, he didn't resist that at all. What about accepting a saddle pad? Very important if he's gonna be a riding horse. There we go, easy. Well, let's take him out and see if maybe we can do a little bit of some lunging with him. So let's have him go and slow down 
and go and slow. Very nice. Okay. Oh, come on. He didn't want to trot. Okay. Let's have him try that again. Okay. Come on. Okay. It's a little fast. He wants to go fast. Okay. He just likes to trot. Okay. Slow. Nice walk. Trot and slow. Okay. Let's do that one more time. I want it to be five stars that he knows what he's doing. So there we go. Speed him up. Okay. Slow down to a trot and fast. There we go. Good. Okay. Five stars. I think he deserves a treat for that. Let's see. We got apples, bananas, peaches, pineapple. Does he like pineapple? Ashlyn, do you want that? No. Okay. No. He does not. Really? No. He does not like pineapple. Potato? Do you want potato? No. Watermelon? Watermelon. Yes. Nice and sweet watermelon. There we go. Oh, what about your sister? Should we just give her a little treat really quick too? What is her name again? Sea Shelter. Okay, let's give her a treat. Here's Sea Shelter. So what does she want? Maybe we can give her... Does she want the pineapple? No, okay. She's just like her brother. Doesn't want the pineapple. What about the leaf? Do you want the lettuce? Yes, she likes the lettuce. Okay. Good girl. Oh, she's so sweet. They're adorable, you guys. I wish I could adopt both of them. Oh, but I'm sure she's going to a loving, loving home. I know that Ashlyn is. He's going to be very happy in my stable. All right, we should probably get back to training with him. So let's kind of do some more advanced things. Let's just double check that he's paying attention. Okay, so again, do some halter training here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look that way. Good. Okay, perfect. He's paying attention. It's probably because he wants more watermelon. Okay, we've done lunging. We've done halter training. We've done some saddle pad. Now let's see if I can get him to like cross over his legs. So have him move this way. Oh, wait, he's sliding. No, no, okay, there, there we go. That's exactly what I want you to do. Perfect. Uh-huh, and the other way. Yep, not a slide. We want a crossover. Crossover. He's doing so good. Oh, so sweet. Oh, he's just so good. Oh, his sister wants to play. Oh, look at her. She's doing like tricks. <gasps> Should I have her do that again? Okay, don't tell anybody. I'm gonna go train Sea Shelter. Let's see how she does on the halter. She do okay? Okay, good. Okay, not as easy there. Come on. No? Okay, she definitely needs a little bit more training. Ashlyn, her brother is a lot easier to train, but she's still so sweet. Oh, mom's back out in the pasture again. All right, let's go back to training Ashlyn. Let's see if we can get him to bow down. Mm-hmm, nice. And again? No, he doesn't want to. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's doing like a little pawing. That's cute. And bow. Oh, he reared. Come on, get him to bow down. Okay, he's getting a little wild now. Excuse me, uh, honey, I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, Sea Shelter's new owner's here. She's gotta go to her new home. Oh, she's gotta go. This is sad. Oh, she's gotta go to her new home. Bye, Sea Shelter. Hopefully we'll see you around in Star Stable. All right, it's just Ashlyn and his mom now. Gotta keep on training him. Oh, looks like he's ready to bow now. Let's see if he can bow on command. Go ahead and bow. There we go, good boy. All right, I'm gonna keep on training him several weeks later. All right, you guys, it's been several weeks and I've been training Ashlyn. And now he's finally at home with me in my stable. <gasps> There he is. Hello, Ashlyn. Look at how big he is now. So he's all grown up. But again, just like Swift Spot, he has a lot of training that I still need to do with him. He's so sleepy. He's like one of the most sleepiest horses. And then all of a sudden he has like this burst of energy. So let's give him some loves and put on one of the new rope halters on him. Put the black one on him. And let's go ahead and lead him out. Come on, boy. Very good. All right, you ready to keep your training up? We gotta keep training you. Yeah, he's ready. Well, let's go ahead and brush his coat, pick his feet, put on his saddle pad, leg wraps, saddle, saddle bag. And let's take this cute little kitty out today. Yeah, do you wanna come along with us for a ride? Oh, okay, great. Put him in the saddle bag. There we go. All right, so we are ready to ride. All right, let's warm him up nice and easy. Do a couple really small little jumps. There we go. He is such a pleasure to ride. Do a few more jumps. There we go. Maybe we can go try some barrel racing with him. Oh, another Appaloosa's already coming in. Oh, they've got that gorgeous bay color. Oh, love it. Not quite sure what I'm gonna use him for. He might just be my trail horse, but he's got a lot of options. He's a really, really great horse so far. I mean, you could just tell that very early on in his training, as you saw with me training him as a foal. Did pretty good. Oh, and again, if you guys haven't heard, this is it with Marley. This whole entire area is gonna be getting a brand new makeover. I love change. I love it. I cannot wait to see what Star Stable does, how they're gonna change all this. So this is the last time it is going to look like this. Yes, brand new update coming. So let's go on up over to the vineyard. 
All right, let's see if he can handle one of these races. Oh, there's that bay again. Oh, and the brown one. Let's see if we can catch up with this Appaloosa. Maybe we can do the race together. Oh, they're going off track. Oh, I thought they were doing the race. See, look at how smooth he is. He's doing so good. See, I think he would do really well on the trail. Okay, he stumbled just a little bit right there. I just feel like they're really easy to handle. I'm really enjoying riding the Appaloosas. Even though he's only my second one that I've been training, I'm really excited about this breed in the game. You guys have been telling me too, you guys are super excited about the Appaloosas, especially again, that peacock color, which I think I finally have a name picked out and I think I'm going to purchase her very soon here. All right, he did really good here as well. So let's go check out some of the main styles. All right, so here's the default. Here we have a short all black mane. I love the, the little tiny ponytail, the very loose pony, including the little ponytail in the front and in the back. There's completely buzzed, like like a mohawk, long braids, I love this. The braided tail is really cute too. Or he can have the long mane, kind of with the faded gray tips, or this style long. Can't go wrong with any of them. I really wish Star Sable would make the mane and tail hairstyles for free, really adds to role plays, just makes it a lot more fun. Oh, and do we see braided, completely braided? There's braided when he's ready for the ring. So I love the ponytail mane and tail on him. I think it suits him so, so, so cute. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Big giant shout out to all of my new subscribers and to my old school subscribers. I know you guys have been with me for a long time. You guys are in your teens and even 20s. You guys have been watching me for so long. I absolutely love hearing from you. Thank you for being part of the Honey family. I'm so happy that you're just as horse crazy as I am. I hope you're really enjoying these role plays. It's basically Appaloosa week here in Star Stable for me. So I'm gonna be training another Appaloosa role play style. So give this video a like, leave me a comment below. Know that I am here for you. Oh, I just fell off the cliff. Brighter happy days are on their way if you're having anything that you're kind of going through right now. It's perfectly normal. We all have bad days. Wait, we're going into the bushes now. And you know that classic saying, there's always sunshine after the rain. And if you look close enough, you can even see a rainbow. So big hugs, love hearts, hugs horses. And I'll see you in my next role play video. Woo, which Appaloosa is it gonna be? I don't know.